Hi. So uh, today let's understand uh, what are sets. This is the first chapter uh, of ninth standard the Maharashtra board, which I am covering right now. Okay. What is a set? A set basically is defined as a well-defined collection of objects well defined so you can think about any well defined objects like the number of students in a class okay that is well defined always remember it's a set set i'll give you a few examples one is these are supposing eggs eight about eight eggs okay so now in the basket you know there are eight eggs and this is a well-defined set a set of eight eggs okay so this is a very crude example but at the same time try to understand that uh, I'll give you a few more examples. Okay, one is this. Second is of uh, students in a class. Okay, students in a class. So they also well defined. Like there will be sometimes a class will have about thirty students. Okay, thirty number of students, or sometimes you will have sixty. And in colleges, you might actually end up having more than say hundred maybe in engineering colleges but this count shows that it's a it's a it's a well defined count so that's why if i say students a set of students in a class so that is well defined either it can be 30 60 or 100 okay and i'll go to a third example students who have scored a set of students who have scored more than 90 percent okay more than 90 percent in eighth standard so even that is very well defined so there might be people in the entire school there might be about uh, if there are total number of 100 students you might actually find uh, more than 50 percent of the of the students having more than 90 percent so like say 50 numbers so this 50 number is well defined so we know specifically that 50 number of students have secured more than 90 percent the interesting thing is now let me draw try to draw a straight line yeah now okay I'll tell you what a try to if I tell you uh, to make a set of the number of hairs on your head okay S set of hairs on your head not defined because you cannot count them specifically okay so this is undefined so once you call about the when you when you are asked to make a set of some abstract things okay abstract things in the sense you cannot count them specifically they are not well defined okay so at that point in time you can say it is not it is not a set it is not a set and supposing i ask you to define intelligent students in your class intelligent students is it possible no because intelligence of a student is very different with each student some student might be intelligent when it comes to playing a game called chess or some people some student might be intelligent when he is solving a particular problem so this itself the these kind of abstract words which are used 
do not actually define a set so try to understand this point anything that is well defined okay that is a set anything that is abstract or undefined is not a set okay few other examples is flowers in a garden make a set of a uh, set of flowers in the garden you cannot define the number of flowers in a garden there will be numerous number or humongous numbers of uh, flowers so that also is not a set so a mosquito is in a room undefined very abstract will not be able to know not be able it is not well defined so try to understand let's sum it up the, the objects which are well defined like the examples i have given here set of eight egg eight eggs uh students in a class and scored uh students who have scored more than 90% these are all well defined so they have a particular number with them with the associated with them so they are well defined the things that are undefined like the hair and the intelligent the abstract words these are undefined so they don't make a set they are not a set okay now let's continue with how we can actually define a set there are two methods to it listing method also called the roster method rooster method and another one is the rule method also called the set builder form okay so let's do it in the next lesson then thank you bye